Hey everyone, Brandon, the Shaving Realtor. How's everyone doing? Yeah, it's been a few weeks since I've done my last video. Um, and even off the top of my head, I don't even remember what the last soap was that I did a video on. You know, since the beginning of the year, um, it's been very, very busy. I will tell you, the, the real estate market as a whole across the country last year was just absolutely amazing. And um, we're looking for another tremendous year again this year. And um, so that's why I just haven't had a chance. Hang on, let me get, I got messages popping up here um, on my phone. Anyway, um, so yeah, I finally got a chance here today. My wife is out with my mother-in-law doing some shopping. My, my other daughter is on a trip. Um, and then my other daughter is working. So I'm here, I'm taking my time, I'm doing a nice little shave. I got a couple days growth here. And I've got some products that I haven't had a chance to even review yet and go over since since Christmas, the, the beginning of the year. I know that the last um, the last one that I did was a Barrister and Man product, and I don't. I think it was the lime lavender cedarwood, if I remember right. I think was the last one that I did. So the one I want to do today is another outstanding soap. Now this is from the Art of Shaving. This is the Kingsman. This is a uh, this is a cream, and it's got a bourbon scent to it. Um, the smell is outstanding. The scent itself, but I mean they got nice canisters. Look at the nice canisters. The the tubs they put this in really nice, classy. Um, like I said, it's a it's a cream, and I took a little bit out, and I put it in the bottom of my my shave bowl here. The, the only thing about this is that the scent strength is not very powerful. It's, it's a mid to mid low strength. Scale from one to 10, I would say it's probably a four or a five. But the smell is very deep, very rich. Um, I don't smell, I mean it says bourbon. It, it's got a deep rich smell like bourbon would. Um, but overall the scent and, but I think for what you may lose on this for a scent strength, you're definitely going to make up for it on the quality of the shave. Um, because I've shaved with this soap on a couple of occasions and it's a very, very good soap. And then I got the, um, I got the aftershave balm with it also, which has got, comes in a pump. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to use my. I can't stay away from this razor. I got my Claymore. This, I, I'm telling you, I love, from Executive Shaving, I love this razor. It's a very, very heavy, three-piece, single-edge razor. But one of the reasons why I like this, and I've talked about this razor, is there's no gap between the end of the blade and the, and the razor itself. That blade goes right up, it goes right up to the end there's not much. So when I'm shaving underneath my nose, I get it. There's no gap. Um, and I've got feather blades in these. So it just this razor just I can't stay away from it because it's it's probably my favorite razor. And then I'm gonna use my uh, I'm gonna use my my razor rock big bruce. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you how well this soap performs um, if you may if you like a nice creamy lather that's very dense um, like a yogurt very smooth that's what this lather has a little bit more water in there. Very, very nice, rich. Here's the lather I've got on that. So let me wet my face. Let's get going. So we're a week into February 
the weather here is still, it's snowing out today. We're supposed to get three to five inches of snow here today. But I'm just hanging out. I mean, look, just, you can see how creamy it is. And I haven't even started working it in yet. Look, it's falling off. I only have one other product from uh, Art of Shaving, which is the sandalwood. And again, it just, it performs. Their products are outstanding, they really are. I'm gonna get messy on this shave. I'm gonna do two passes today. I'm gonna do one down and then I'm gonna go up. But here's another reason why I like this razor. When I'm in a rush in the morning, and I gotta get a shave in, I can shave quicker with this because I can do, there's two, and then there's three. It's not a lot, but because the blade is wider, and let me show you. So here's my Merker 34C. You can see how much wider this blade, this razor is. So another reason why I like it is because I can, I can do a shave pretty quick with it in the morning. Now I always nick myself a little bit with this razor. Yep, and I got a little one right there already. I was like a little pimple. Because this razor is so heavy, you literally cannot put any pressure on this razor at all. right there me and and the slickness on this soap is is also tremendous very very good slickness so let me rinse off and I'll be right back you know I feel like I'm cheating the soap because I'm only doing two passes And there's still a lot of soap in here that I can use again. You know you got a really nice, thick, dense soap when you're, when you're using your brush and as you're painting it on or pre you can't, you can't feel the brush a lot. That's when you know you got a really good, thick, dense soap here.
Let's see with that soap and this this blade, this razor. I really don't need three passes. If I just put water on my face, I could, I could literally shave the slickness. Let me rinse off one more time, and I'll be right back. So yeah, this is what I feel bad about. You know, I did two passes. This shave is amazing. I'm just bare bottom smooth. I mean, I, doing another pass just wouldn't have done anything for me. Cross the grain, up, I mean, it's just, it's just a perfect shape. But, you know, next time I use it, I realize I don't need, this is everything I got left here. You just hate to throw this stuff away, you know. Um, but it is what it is. It's a tremendous shave. It feels outstanding. It, like I said, it's cold out. I know I'm going to end up outside later on snow blowing the, so, lavender, there's witch hazel. For those of you who do not know, Thayer's witch hazel, lavender, outstanding stuff. Now, I went out myself and I bought some aftershave. Now, this soap doesn't come with a, a matching aftershave, but it does come with a matching aftershave balm. So, I was out at uh, Walmart the other day, and they had just stocked up some shelves. And I got some, uh, I'm gonna, I got some other products I'm going to show you in another videos. But this is what I'm used today. Stetson. Remember Stetson. Now, I don't... I, I don't know if this is the same company, same blend that was years ago. I'm assuming it may not be. Um, but the when I smell this, I mean, that's my grandfather. It takes me right back to remembering my grandfather. You know, when I would go up to his house in the summer and spend a week at my grandparents' house. And he'd come out of the bathroom in the morning and he would smell like this. Um, so I'm using some of that. And I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, that burns. That burns. Ah. <laughs> and then, because I'm going to be out later, and in the winter time, I always use this go back because too much of that alcohol is going to dry your face out I'm going to go and this is a pump spray pump spray it's not a spray it's just so I just did four I just did four little pumps here and again a little bit goes a long way with this with this company's balms the same way with their with their sandalwood bombs, same way. You need just a little bit. And it really goes a long way here. So I am done. I'm gonna relax for a couple more hours here. I got some other videos coming up. I'm definitely wanting to get back on track with more videos. So I've got some other products I wanna review coming up here um, in the next week or so. so I will be seeing you guys soon. And again, as always, thank you for watching. Please take a moment, 
click on the subscribe button and subscribe to the videos. I greatly appreciate that. Um, click on the little bell if you want notifications when I do these videos. And of course, always leave comments. I like to read the comments. I, I respond to the comments. You know, I'm not like one of these guys that just, you know, people go on, you take the time to write a comment or ask a question and then I just ignore it and don't go back on. I like to read the comments and I like to respond to them. And um, again, I appreciate it. And as always, make it a great day.